Uh, very good morning to you all and uh, thank you very much uh, for the creating this opportunity for Network of Agriculture Extension and Advisor Service in Sri Lanka. Also, uh, I would like to say thank you very much uh, for the presentations and the uh, experience sharings of the yesterday uh, because uh, a lot of uh, people uh, who shared uh, the different experience and the different uh, knowledge uh, from their country for us and regional for us. So, I think uh, those are very uh, helpful us because uh, we are we are still in a very emerging uh, stage actually still in budding situation so gradually we have to uh, develop so actually uh, so I'm going to present about uh, what is about the network of agricultural extension and advisory service in Sri Lanka myself and Krishanath is there and I'm a treasurer to there and Krishanath is a uh, uh, president to uh, network of agricultural extension and advisory service. So actually, uh, before we go to the network, so, so I would like to give some brief introductions about uh, what uh, where Sri Lanka and what actually the situations currently we are facing. So in, uh, in the main uh, focus area is, uh, if you go for the uh, Sri Lankan agriculture situation is actually uh, tea sector, tea coconut and spices are the uh, main sector. Uh, they are performing uh, comparatively very well than uh, paddy uh, and green and green and vegetable sector so these are the main sectors and uh, in uh, currently actually uh, in sri lanka is facing huge uh, economic crisis so because of that actually uh, importing of uh, agricultural input fertilizer and agrochemical is uh, is uh, kindly uh, actually is very difficult so therefore uh, the performing uh, in paddy and uh, main grain sector is uh, we are facing some uh, difficulties. Therefore, last year we were predicted uh, there kind of some uh, 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 the, 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 the food security were hugely impacted in last year. But now uh, we are uh, we are gradually coming out from that. Uh, even even animal husbandry, um, uh, uh, chickens and other areas is hugely uh, disturbed due to the economic crisis. And also uh, Sri Lanka also faced some big uh, crisis even previous year. It is because uh, the, the previous government or previous presidents uh, one day declare uh, the country as a uh, organic nation. So because of that, uh, actually, uh, within one day, uh, he stopped uh, all the agrochemical imports and declare countries so organic nations. And uh, because of that, actually, uh, the productions of the whole, all the sectors of agriculture will collapse. And actually, unfortunately, he has to uh, go home uh, the power due to the due to the power of the farmer, right? Uh, then currently, the as a reason of this uh, declarations of organic nation, uh, pest outbreak is currently uh, we are showing because we don't have agrochemicals available, even black market available, which are huge, uh, very very high prices in coconut sector. We are facing a white fly disaster, and the uh, paddy sector also the nematode disaster is uh, spreading throughout the country. So it's a very huge risk for and productivity and high prices uh, in vegetable market. This is the uh, this is the current condition in uh, agriculture sector, and these are the challenges we are facing. So when you look at the agricultural extension activities uh, and the, the, the stakeholders who are involved in there, uh, public sector dominant agriculture system, even uh, like all others, uh, they are hugely dominant by the public sectors. Uh, they are uh, they are they are doing they are oriented uh, service oriented. Uh, uh, approaches is there. Private sector now actually uh, gradually uh, capturing the, uh, the the gradually making competitions to the private sector. They are they are doing uh, agricultural extension service with other value added services to uh, take uh, actually they are doing business oriented profits. And the NGO extension actually we have to say in Sri Lanka. Uh, previous uh, uh, two years back, uh, uh, before actually the economic crisis, uh, we were declared as a lower middle income country. So because of that, a uh, lot of uh, development projects come to Sri Lanka is comparatively uh, very low from the NGOs. So the presence of NGO sectors actually uh, comparative to the region is uh, in Sri Lanka is uh, comparatively very low actually. We have to say it's, uh, it's rare only FAO and uh, 2 3 uh, INGOs are available, uh, not like uh, uh, like in other regions. Our main approaches, uh, this is other few approaches I would like to share that to you, you all know. 
the uh, the general extension commodity specialized uh, the training and visits uh, participatory approach and project approaches was currently were practices but due to crisis and uh, due to some uh, the some government also pressure to the public sector to uh, go for cost sharing approaches because, because private sector is involved in profit approaches so the, the public sector also now forcing to go for uh, cost sharing approaches to cover the uh, their expenses and the private sector involved in uh, different activities even myself uh, also representing private sector so uh, the what we are doing is actually different activities uh, it's, a, it's a business our extension service is a business uh, part of the business so uh, company to company or company to customer or company to industry like uh, b2b b2c b2, uh, b2 like approaches we are practicing uh, it is a part of uh, business and also uh, different companies uh, they are uh, they are uh, they have their own uh, uh, rationales uh, in their uh, in their extension activities as example uh, some companies they are following extension and they create premium pricing the what they are demanding and at the same time some uh, uh, they use for the mass scale product uh, uh, product demand and uh, and also quality and the certification like that uh, the different companies they have uh, they have uh, rationalities and the, as i said earlier actually persons uh, ngos are actually uh, comparatively low and uh, comparatively in sri lanka so this is about uh, Network of Agriculture and Extension Sri Lanka. So uh, we, we, we name as a Network of uh, Agriculture and Extension and Advisory Services in Sri Lanka. We found uh, this uh, organization in 2016 is uh, compared to we have uh, some small uh, history, but actually after merging, we also face some difficulties. Uh, as example, I said because uh, the, the, the the management is uh, uh, signed by the members, so some uh, sometimes we face the the same management if not some time uh, actively more committed. So the performance was failed, and after that actually some due to COVID and others the, the performance was dropped. This is our uh, vision is to be a leading professional agriculture and extension and advisory body in Sri Lanka. We want to be a leading body in Sri Lanka with the uh, VI missions. Uh, the networking, sharing, learning, building capacities, uh, empowering extension system to develop effective and extension adversary services in Sri Lanka. So I think uh, this forum also will create uh, which, uh, good opportunities even to be part of the missions of networking and the sharing. Also, uh, also I think uh, the country for us, regional forums. So can uh, you can help us uh, for capacity buildings and the sharing of experience and the knowledge with us for the development even. Uh, our boards and our members and our uh, participants in Sri Lanka. So uh, this is the objective. So uh, we hope to strengthen the coordination among public and private extension practitioners in farmer, uh, farmers. And the second one is to, be, uh, to provide facilities to uh, public and private extension practitioners and farmers to improve the technical knowledge on the agricultural sector like that. Uh, we have uh, four objectives. Uh, uh, of uh, association and uh, the, this, uh, in Sri Lanka we have like, uh, registered as a non-profit uh, company format this is a legal uh, way we have to uh, register in Sri Lanka uh, currently uh, the membership is uh, 200 so we have two type, uh, three types of members one is uh, uh, life members and uh, general members and corporate members so the corporate members is the companies uh, who who would like to uh, join with us uh, as a member? Uh, we do uh, corporate membership. We charge uh, twenty dollars from the corporate members, and the general members uh, they have uh, the life member. Uh, uh, they have to pay uh, five dollars, and the general members annual membership is there is uh, one point five dollars. This is how the membership is going. Board director seven and the management is going like this: uh, president, uh, vice president, joint secretary, treasurer and the four uh, committee members. Uh, so we were, active, uh, uh, we were involved in uh, some activities in the uh, previous two, three years. Actually, we would like to uh, convey our gratitude to the Aisha because uh, they, are the, the, they are always uh, backing with us. They, they, are the, uh, the, they, 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 they motivate us to be uh, always. And uh, the, uh, the Rashid also uh, always with us uh, 
to uh, establish and promote the uh, network of agriculture extension in Sri Lanka. So workshop held the adapt adaptation of new extension approach in advisory service. So two years back, uh, we, we were involved on workshop. And then uh, training of trainer programs uh, for the coconut cultivation board about milk modules, so the regional managers and the uh, coconut development officers, uh, uh, we, were, we were involved in uh, this kind of activities. And uh, this uh, is a little uh, actually, uh, the, the I saw so mentioned the, uh, the South Asia policy dialogue. Uh, this even, even very best, uh, basic state, we were involved in Asia. Uh, the role of uh, extension advisor service scaling of the pilot uh, smart agriculture was really one of the participation of the uh, of participation from the South Asia. So the also we were involving a uh, lot of activities and here I am here sharing few of uh, online activities because uh, after declare, uh, declaring organic nations there was a huge uh, demands for the extension officers to uh, for the communicate with the uh, how to how to uh, how to work with organic. Uh, so we take from help from India and also Sri Lankan people, Sri Lankan expertise. Uh, uh, we involve uh, actual capacity building and knowledge sharing with uh, exist, uh, existing extension officers in Sri Lanka about uh, organic farming. Uh, this is uh, two three uh, activities. And uh, and also in the, uh, in the last uh, year we were involved because there's huge uh, demand for SME sectors about the agribusiness, uh, small agribusiness sectors. Uh, uh, the actually regarding how to develop their small businesses into next stage. So we use some uh, foreign expertise to share their knowledge uh, through the NESL and uh, to help the SME sector in Sri Lanka. And uh, now we are currently engaging in uh, uh, what is called uh, NELP module translations and also adaptations to the local language. So we have currently uh, totally uh, translated 10 modules into the Sinhala and uh, four, four modules are completely uh, removed by our uh, editing uh, editorboards and uh, another balance I think uh, four or six modules have to translate. So this is a uh, this is actually uh, uh, what we, we, were, we were teaching or we were adapting the English modules uh, to the, uh, the extension uh, officers or practitioners in Sri Lanka. But uh, we, we found there is some kind of demand uh, to go with local language. Therefore, uh, therefore uh, we, we decided to uh, translate the modules into the local language. It, is, uh, it, is, uh, it has good demand and it, it will value added to the extension officers in Sri Lanka. We have developed service our website, then we have to uh, further develop this is into some, some, this is into some basic steps. We are expecting to uh, bring some kind of uh, professional levels. The future activities actually what we are going to do, or what, what is our journey in future uh, with, uh, with the all. We have currently planning to uh, capacity building programs for private and public sector uh, extension practitioners actually. Uh, this is uh, this practitioner. Uh, this program actually may be a paid programs. The, we, we are going to charge uh, from the the parties. Uh, uh, parties. I will discuss in, in the uh, the financing sector. And uh, ADB and World which uh, we are expecting uh, this uh, this projects uh, in climate resilience training program of uh, for 2000 vegetable and food farmers in climate uh, resilience activities in Sri Lanka. We are we are expecting this. Uh, this project and knowledge sharing capacity building session with the uh, regional country and uh, uh, Sri Lanka Agricultural Extension Association, it's a professional association. And actually, uh, the, in here, actually, I would like to invite. Uh, uh, we will we will invite you all to share your experience and the knowledge and the uh, success stories with us because uh, you already have achieved that. Because uh, because if you share that. Uh, all the knowledge and experience uh, with us. We don't want to uh, waste our time for to take that experience. So then we can uh, we can keep next step uh, with your help. So uh, so knowledge sharing sessions and the digital uh, digital extension uh, promotions uh, in Sri Lanka with the uh, Institute of uh, Communication Technology Authority in Sri Lanka. We are in, in discussion level personally. I'm engaging there. Uh, to because they are very happy uh, to promote ICT uh, the digital extension also 
a favor with Ibras. Uh, in I, I, we know that your priority, priority area is there for digital extension promotion. Uh, so we can uh, please help us go there. And uh, digital extension activities uh, currently via YouTube and Facebook, Zoom, uh, going on to promote uh, activities there. And the newsletter we are planning via website. And, uh, and in Sri Lanka, actually, uh, we want to give some kind of uh, uh, like a chartered institute, uh, a chartered institute like marketing, like uh, accreditations to the extension officer. Uh, the, we, we, that is a, uh, the, that's our next plan after after training of the module. Uh, we are given to some accredited uh, certificate via our association because uh, it is me that is it's the recognition to the extension officer in Sri Lanka. It, it should generate. So we are planning uh, to issue that uh, certificate to the extension uh, officer in Sri Lanka and the membership drive, public and private sector and, uh, and, and fund fundraising programs uh, because we are currently uh, bankrupted um, <laughs> uh, uh, Right, uh, so uh, the challenges we are facing is uh, membership increasing because uh, uh, we only allow the who are practice extension in the field as a member. So therefore, uh, the membership recognition is one of the challenge. And the, and the frustrated uh, extension and advisory service provider is Sri Lanka. So the reason is actually uh, Sri Lanka is, uh, the, the, the Sri Lankan politics involvement in agriculture sector is uh, compared to uh, very, very, very high than the regions. So the, re uh, the main, main reason is actually uh, non-political parties are highly involved in uh, the extension activities you see as example I would like to say uh, after declare the country as organic nations the uh, medical doctors were come to the fields and they were teaching to the uh, farmers the health benefits and you have to go for 100 percent organic and, uh, and uh, yeah doctors were involved in there so the non medical some, some kind of uh, the, 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 the monk like people who are in there for the extension activity. So the professional extension, uh, the extensioners are actually frustrated uh, the, 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 in, in real situation. So also one of challenge and financial difficulties uh, for training and development activities. And, uh, and the opportunities we have in the in Sri Lankan extension association like professional organization, they are expecting a degree or something with the extension officer in, in, in Sri Lanka in SLEA. Actually, even whatever the person who are practicing extension, we are we are allowed as a uh, member to be there. And then there are numbers of practitioners, and, and then now we are gradually uh, linked with uh, Piras, Aisa, and uh, many other regional bodies. So we, we hope uh, this is a kind of uh, opportunity we have uh, to promote NESL uh, in Sri Lanka. Uh, fundraising, the financing is going currently is like uh, this uh, individual membership, uh, the membership charges we, uh, we, we are, they, the people have to pay to be a member and the corporate member and the uh, well wishes mean that the people who, who committed and uh, like to myself coming here like uh, well wishes and the private and uh, public extension officer training, we have planned uh, a few of training programs and the project with local and INGOs and sponsors for the online, online and uh, physical uh, seminars and other workshops. Uh, this is the financing, and uh, we, we we are we are highly uh, expected to uh, cooperate with uh, Aisha, Apiras, and Gibras regarding uh, fundraising programs and activities and knowledge sharing and, uh, and capacity building, and uh, more more networking opportunities with the regional and extension bodies. And the mutual uh, use of human resources. That means, so uh, you are, you are, uh, our expertise uh, can share their knowledge and experience with you, and also uh, you, you, you also have, uh, we will generate uh, that opportunities. Uh, please uh, share your knowledge and experience with the uh, Sri Lankan community. So this is the uh, the basic and summary of uh, the, uh, the network of agricultural extension and advisory service in Sri Lanka. So I would like to thank actually. Uh, Aisa is uh, the is like elder, elder brothers so <laughs> they always uh, with us and helping and motivation and the pushing to the next stage. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rashid and and uh, uh, so yeah, Nisha, uh, to uh, uh, supporting and uh, helping and all the motivation you have given throughout the last two two three years. 
even the even this initiation, even after initiation and uh, pillars and uh, crypts and, and the NSS members. So with that, uh, thank you very much and thank you very much for creating this opportunity. And I think uh, we can make good future for Sri Lankan agriculture. Uh, with uh, <laughs> uh, with that, I would like to conclude and thank you very much uh, for your time and attention. Yeah, I was there. I was there. Okay.